and it's very handy if you want hot water with a push of the button. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Zojirushi hot water pot dispenser. This is the CVDCC 40 VE model. I believe VE stands for vacuum edition, I think. Hey, I'm Pat, creator of alldayiaeat.com, where I teach Japanese cooking, indoor gardening, and points travel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. At any time during or after the video, check out the description where I'll list the product link, some of my notes, and anything that I forgot to say. So I've had the Zojirushi water, a previous model that lasted me over 10 years, and this is a vital piece of equipment in my kitchen. I use it all the time, not only for tea and coffee, and occasionally when I'm trying to cook something like hot soup, I have my hot water ready to go. I don't need to wait for it to uh, boil on the stove. So this uh, water pot is a pretty good size. This is, I believe this is the four liter size, which is, which is what I have here is the largest size that they offer. It does take a lot of uh, counter space, but not as much as my kitchen, KitchenAid stand mixer. It's probably about half of the footprint of that. So the dimensions of this thing, let's see, it's about eight inches deep, about six inches wide, uh, 13 and a half inches tall. So it comes with a somewhat short cord. I would say this is about four, four feet long, so it's not long, but uh, if for whatever reason you need to discontinue or disconnect it, just take it out. So it's got a little magnetic, magnetic bit in there, so it goes, you don't need to push it, it just attaches itself. It's kind of like magic. And uh, the good thing is that this is a vacuum pot, right? So this is the same technology that they use for their mugs, which are vacuum, or some of their mugs that had the vacuum technology in there that helps to insulate the hot water or hot liquid much better than without the vacuum. This has a handle if you need to carry it, if you wanna go on a picnic somewhere, or if you wanna, you know, I don't know, lift weights or whatever. But, uh, so this handle's handy if you want to be port, um, if you needed something portable, for example, if you had a big party at your house or you wanted to take it outside on a picnic, you have hot water on the go. So just plugging this back in, there are several buttons in here. There is a dispense button, there's an unlock button. So you have to unlock first before you hit dispense. There's a timer if you want to set the, the, the water to boil at a certain time. There's also a quick boil function, which helps to boil the water even faster than just a regular. And there's four temperatures on this model. So there's 160, 175, 195, and 208. So I believe 160 is supposed to be for like infant milk artificial formula, or 175 might be for that too. 195, 175, I believe you can use for tea. And 208 is almost boiling water, which you would want to use for something like if you're gonna do French press coffee or drip coffee using your, uh, what do you call it, your Chemex, you wanted to do pour over coffee. These temperatures that they have listed on the screen are not 100% accurate. I found using my thermometer, which is not in there, but uh, when I have used my thermometer, it's about 10 to 20 degrees off. The 208 comes around 195 degrees Fahrenheit. The 195 is around 180. So just keep that in mind when you are choosing the temperature. There is a little swivel base on the bottom here, if you wanna see. There's a little ring which allows it to uh, rotate. So that's why you can rotate this very easily. It has a water level indicator here. So mine is the four liter model. So it goes from one to four. It'll tell you when you need to refill. If you open it, you can see that there is a line that says you can fill it up to here. Let's go ahead and just fill this up. It does play a nice little tune to let you know that it, your water has been heated. I don't know how to disable it, but it goes do, 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 do. It's some, some kind of classical music tune, um, which is pretty neat, as long as you don't mind the music. So things that I like about this uh, device is that it has a large capacity, so it's four liters. I don't need to keep refilling it over and over again. With my other, my older Zojirushi hot water pot, I had to refill it uh, almost every, every day, depending on how much uh, coffee and tea I was drinking. I drink a lot of coffee and tea, obviously. So, the four liters is a pretty good size. I also do like that it's got a push button instead of a physical old Zojirushi water pot. I actually had to push down um, to get the water to come out. And I like that there's different temperature settings here. So if you have a nice high quality green tea, 
you should be using a lower temperature to really enjoy that and not ruin it. And you can select the higher temperatures for if you want for coffee, like I mentioned before, or whatever else that you would use hot water for. I also like the swivel base. So if you need to rotate this on your kitchen counter, you can do so very easily. You can set this aside. It also fits underneath my cabinets, which is a big uh, important, it was an important factor when I chose this one. My Vitamix, for example, does not fit under the cabinet, so I always have to have it stuck out. You do want to be careful. There is a steam vent here, which will let out steam as water is boiling, so you don't want to put your hands there. What I like about this is that it heats water quickly. It doesn't have any uh, flavor issues. It tastes just like the water that comes out of my uh, my water faucet. One thing that you should uh, keep in mind is that if you have hard water, you're gonna have deposits build up on the inside. The reason I know is because I used to live in a house that had no water softener and so every month or so, every other month, I would have to put in citric acid to dissolve all those solids and clean it out. Other good thing is that this was made in Japan. Generally a plus in my opinion, I don't know about you. Some things, other things that I don't like about this could be uh, it's a little bit more expensive than some of the other models, but it is, it's based on the reviews and the research that I did, this uses the least amount of power because of the vacuum technology. I think it's only about 20 watts per hour, where some of the other models and other brands, they use up to 60 to 70 watts per hour. So it's about one third of the amount of electricity that's required. Other than that, I think that's about it. So question of the day, what kind of hot water pot are you using? Do you like it? Is there something that you wish it had that it doesn't? Uh, are you using it for other things besides coffee and tea? Let me know by leaving me a comment below. All right, well, thanks for dropping by. If you'd like to learn more about Japanese cooking, indoor gardening, and points travel, subscribe. And otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. All right.